is time for our opening presentation. Would everyone please welcome our cavalcade of circus canines presented by Elmo Gibb. Well, my name is Dean Chambers. I'm a circus clown, believe it or not. I also train uh, dogs and ponies. And uh, I brought a circus act up here with five dogs and a, and a circus pony. And uh, we'll be touring northeastern Iowa for a couple of weeks and then moving up into Minnesota and into North Dakota. And circus performers depend on their trailers being dependable. And that's why I looked around and bought an old Hallmark. Because the frame is, it's solid. It's, it's two eight inch heavy duty I-beams and good welded, I mean I've checked all the welds because I weld myself and uh, the cross members are all welded it's solid as can be so we don't have to worry about it breaking down while I'm traveling the axles are very heavy duty torsion axles um, it, it pulls like a dream we move five to seven days a week so that's 30,000, 40,000 miles a year I'm pulling this trailer <laughs> It didn't take me long to do the modifications. I just had to uh, put a plywood wall back here so I can put the props in the back end and insulate the animals from the icy winter blasts and stuff like that. There's a nice living quarter to build up in the front. There's access for the battery in the back of the refrigerator. Uh, living room, kitchen combination. It's actually got a pretty good sized bathroom in here. I don't know why they made it so big. Because it is. And then, uh, bedroom over top. Look at that. You got a string hanging from your jacket. Now, as my mother always taught me, if you got a string on your clothing, don't pull it. Just cut. No, I said, don't pull it. You keep pulling, something's going to happen. So look, yeah, you got it with your pants. Exactly. Pull up your pants, grab your rope, grab your string, and there he goes. Uh, so when I bought it, I had to do a certain amount of modifications myself. Fortunately, I had a good thick floor, so I was able to do a lot of changes. Uh, because my dogs had to weld, you know, boxes for the dogs that meet USDA specifications and build a stall for the pony, and I also have to haul seven bales of hay and 50 pounds of grain and 50 pounds of dog food and lots of other stuff with me. Uh, plenty of water for the animals. So I know it's going to hold up its value if I ever have to sell this thing. I hope I don't have to sell it. I hope it lasts me 20 more years. Uh, I know I'll get some good money for it if I ever have to sell it. And uh, if not, I'll just keep it and knock around for fun. You know, I can take my animals with me, go anywhere I want. Bye-bye, well, everybody. And there they go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Professor Elmo and his star pupil, Snickers. Bye-bye. That's the kind of routine you would have seen in a circus in the 1860s.